last time I was in Paris, every time I came into the hotel lobby, they'd say, oh, excuse me, can I help you? <sighs> my painting clothes. I just sort of had to upgrade my, upgrade my wardrobe for this trip. It just seems like everybody here dresses a little bit better than I usually do. Got my flannel from L.L. Bean. My usual polo t-shirt. Levi's. Okay, so I've got a 14 by 18 inch panel. Uh, my smaller palette box, this one's a nine by 12. I wanted something small that would fit into my backpack. I'm going with a limited palette. I've got titanium white, cadmium yellow lemon, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, cad red light, uh, lizard crimson, ultramarine blue, and thalo blue green shade. And I'm using liquid as my medium and Odos mineral spirits in a brush washer. I've got an assortment of brushes. I'm gonna probably do the block in with this natural bristle number eight, and then uh, work some of the detail with these synthetic flats, a number six and a number eight. Okay, so here is the composition. And as you can see, I've lost the light. In fact, it actually started raining for a moment. I thought I was gonna have to duck under the bridge. Uh, but anyway, I'm just gonna work with the darks I have and it's still gonna be a great time.
All right, so the sun came out for a few moments and I kind of blocked in these shadows here. I'm noticing that there's, you know, mostly light on these pillars and at the top and then over here, obviously these buildings uh, in the distance, these get, you know, direct light. Um, and so does this wall here. You know, as I've mentioned before, the most important thing I think at this stage is to make sure that the composition is strong. Uh, and I do feel good about the composition. Now it's just a matter of working with this variable light, but I'm just happy to be here. Uh, the weather is wonderful. It, there's a bit of a breeze, but the perfect, uh, the temperature is perfect. All right, so I think I'm gonna mix up some color for the water here. Starting with a mixture of ultramarine, yellow ochre, adding a bit of this alizarin crimson and then also a bit of this cad yellow lemon. Okay, so I'm mixing up a color for the sky and I'm using ultramarine phthalo blue in titanium white. And I wanna make sure that this mixture, the blue mixture is dark enough that the white part of the clouds stands out. So, I mean, it's overcast right now, but the sky is probably not gonna change that much because the sun's behind me. Uh, so when it lights up these buildings, <laughs> if it does again, um, I don't think it's going to change the sky that much. So anyway, I'm going to try to uh, put the sky in now. Uh, I've just sort of made up an abstract pattern of the clouds that looked appealing. I'm going to go from typical cooler blue and darker at the top more towards the cerulean as it goes down uh, lower towards the horizon. Okay, so for the light portions of the bridge and the building, I'm kind of struggling. I don't really have a warm yellow, uh, so I'm just using this yellow ochre mixed with a bit of white, and it seems to be working. Uh, this, you know, cadmium yellow lemon is just too cool and too much, like it's too much towards green. I'm using a number six uh, synthetic flat. I'm trying to put on loaded strokes and not be too careful. Um, actually, I can see that shadow. The value of that shadow is a little bit too light. And now I'm gonna add blue to the mixture for the quay, which is the this portion here along the water. It's kind of definitely more of a blue color.
Okay, so I'm gonna stop right here. One thing I tried with the windows was just doing really simple strokes and then dark along the top and dark along the side. So just like a slight suggestion of shadow to create like a three-dimensional feel. Um, but that's it. So to recap the challenges, number one, I didn't have a warm yellow and number two, the light was changing. Uh, I think it worked out though, um, overall. You know, when the light is changing, I always try to pick a shadow pattern and then stick with it. And then like I did this time, uh, when the sun comes out, work really quickly, you know, to, in particular, to look at the colors in the shadows. Uh, so that's what I did. And um, actually the yellow ochre ended up working out as a warm-ish yellow. Sometimes I'd add a little bit of alizarin to it to kind of warm it up a little more. Uh, so anyway, overall, it was wonderful. It's a wonderful time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below. Got a bunch of other videos. We kind of talked about how I packed for this trip. So if that sounds interesting, link below. Other than that, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video.